Hello! Today we are going to talk about cents. Not this kind of cent though, but it does have something to do with the number 100. When we talk about pitch, we usually talk about hertz or vibrations per second. So an A vibrates at 440 cycles per second. An A below that vibrates at 220. Two octaves above that, 880. The problem with talking about hertz when we're talking about tuning is it's not an equal scale. It's a logarithmic scale, which just means it looks like this. Notice the markings on top get closer together the further to the right they go. So let's compare some half steps, speaking of hertz. If I were to play a low G sharp to an A, that's a half step. That low G sharp cycles at 207.65 hertz, while the A is at 220. If I go up an octave, that G sharp is at 415.30, and the A is at 440. That's a difference of 24.7. If I go up one more octave, G sharp to A again, those two notes cycle at 830.61 versus 880. That's a difference of 49.39. Now I know I just threw a whole bunch of numbers at you, but the difference in hertz between the first half step was 12.35, the second was 24.7, and the last was 49.39. So cents gives us a better way to talk about the difference between two notes. It gives us a scale to measure to a set standard in between any two given pitches. There are 100 cents between two half steps. So between a C and a C sharp, or between a G and a G sharp, or between a very low G and a G sharp. And if you remember from my examples earlier, it's not the same hertz between each of those two notes, but it is the same number of cents. So if we have two notes, let's say a half step, with 100 cents in between them, halfway in between that note, which would be a quarter step, which we don't have on a piano, is 50 cents sharp or 50 cents flat. So when we're talking about the difference between an in-tune C and an in-tune C sharp, you can tell if you divide that into a hundred little pieces that if you're 10 cents flat or 10 cents sharp, we'd really be able to hear that. If you're only one or two cents flat or sharp, we probably won't be able to hear that very well. So here are some examples of tones that are a little bit sharp or a little bit flat compared to the notes that we usually find on a piano. This is an in-tune A. And a G sharp. Now we'll hear the tone that's halfway in between those two, 50 cents flat. Now we'll go up by a few cents and then a few more. 40 cents flat. Twenty-four cents flat. Fifteen cents flat. Eight cents flat. Four cents flat. Back to an A. What do you think about that? Did that make sense?